All right, another little project I've been working on. Finally got my arms. Um, been waiting for them to show up. I broke this one. As you can see, maybe. Yeah, you can see it right there. Snapped it right on the end. So I got the new arm kit. That's the number for it. In case anybody needs a number. But I'm just replacing the arm. I had it already tore apart, so I'm just putting it all back together now. But one of the things I did find out that I didn't like too much was the way this goes back together. Of course, you gotta stick your pin in. Well. Well, shoot. That's one thing about these. They're so dang tiny. Get in there. locked in now the reason you you wouldn't think you'd have to take this off you could probably take this buff this bumper plate should be able to pull it off and do that but they make it to where you have to take the bumper plate off then you have to take this off and then that pin underneath it has an allen to tighten down on the pin to hold it in now, why they didn't put it on the other side, I don't know. But, they could have done the same thing over here as they did here, and you wouldn't have to totally remove it. But, they do what they do for a reason. Let's see, get in there. It's a fun little car, though, I tell you. It's the brushless. I think it's the 6,000 kV motor. About 26 out of it. The fastest, smallest car I've got. And to be little, this thing gets it. I mean, it really, it really moves. Shop back on there. I've got it on there. Everything's a little on here. Get in there, I think. There we go. I believe I got it that time. back on there if 
anybody's thinking about getting one of these, I think you should. <clears throat> They're definitely worth it. You just got to watch hitting corners and stuff with it. I hit the pole over here in my basement. That's how I broke mine. Set me a couple ramps up this spring and take this thing for a a flying test. <laughs> Most I've really done is just run it in the parking lot, goofing off and playing around. Hadn't really jumped it a lot, <clears throat> so I figure this summer or spring or. Whenever it gets warm again, I get it out and see how good it flies. I've watched a lot of them racing these things. And they do pretty good with them. They look like they fly good, so we'll find out. All right, well, now I'm back in business. I'm ready to go once again. So there's that one. Which you can see, I took all the stickers off of it. Made it my own. Looks pretty good. I like the way it turned out. This is the one I like. I bought a custom body for this one. To where I could paint it up and do it myself. And I actually went with a split paint job. I thought it'd be kind of neat. To be able to see the stuff on the inside as well. As having a nice paint job. But it turned out pretty good. I mean, I, th I think it... The blue, when you get it outside, that silver behind it, it glistens. But I like the way it turned out. I half paint. That turned out good, I think. That's my two. And then I've got one more <clears throat> that I don't. Let me pull it out. I usually leave this one in the box. I've only had it out a couple times because they didn't make many of these at all. So I figured this would be one to save and keep put up. The little Losi Mini T brushless. The 40th anniversary edition. They only made 2003 of these. So I was kind of excited when I got it. And my number is... 1663 out of 2003. But yeah, this one's going to stay brand new. I'm never going to run it. I keep it in the original box. That's a good looking little ride. But that's my mini tees. 
Um, this one I don't run. The blue and white one I run the most. Uh, custom body, I don't run it a whole lot because I don't want to mess that body up. <clears throat> I've got another body that I broke that I'm just kind of mending back together to kind of make it work. <laughs> but that's my little mini tees. Alrighty. Y'all have a good one.